Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there guys, Matthew Sabi here for LockerGnome.com, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to recover lost files using a free program designed by Paraform called Recover. Now I can tell you guys that this program does work, I've used it multiple times, and actually recently I was in the middle, uh, the funny part is I was backing up a large uh, folder of personal files, and I accidentally hit delete instead of import into the program, so my files went away for a while. and. Uh, thanks to Recover, I've got them all back, uh, perfect quality, all the same as before they left. So, here is the welcome screen. I'm going to go ahead and click on Next, or you can just go ahead and click Cancel and skip right into the uh, Advanced Wizard. I'll click on Next. If you do know the types of files that you deleted, uh, it will help in narrowing down the process to recover them. But if you really don't know, or if it's a large amount of files, we'll just go ahead and click on Other. I'll click on Next. If you know where they are, it also helps. Uh, for example, if you knew you deleted them either recycle bin or a specific location, or here's I, I'm actually surprised it's uh, able to do this. It could uh, find files that were deleted off a media card or an iPod, for example. So, but right now I'll click on I'm not sure. See what we could uh, pick up. I'll click on next. You can enable the deep scan. Might uh, have some better results. And let it go through its little process right here. And here we go. These are all the files I have picked up that have been recently deleted. And I'm just talking every single file, including temporary files. Which is why you may want to pretty much narrow it down if you know what the files were you deleted. So you can scroll through them here, organize them the basic uh, explorer. The color-coded icons next to the file names indicate the quality or the uh, likeliness to have the file recovered in the highest quality. So it goes green, yellow, and red, obviously. You can also switch into advanced mode, which gives you, obviously, some more advanced options. Like, say we had the preview window for the file that you're recovering. Go ahead and select it. For example, if it's a uh, image, it could actually show you a thumbnail of the image before you recover it. Uh, if you don't know the file name, you can see the info. It could tell you the uh, state of the file. Like I said, it is a green icon, so it is in excellent condition. It's uh, very likely to be able to be uh, covered. You can see all these different options over here. We can go into options. We have uh, actions, so you could basically uh, narrow down your search results through here. All the other settings, the info, everything you'll need right in here. And you could also choose what kind of pass you want to go over. Uh, so one pass, three pass, or five pass, for example. Uh, so if it's not going to find it on the first pass, you may want to able to deep scan. Go ahead, look through those. So let's say I wanted to restore one of these files here. Uh, let's say I lost this image right here, and I'll go ahead, put a check next to that. It has a green icon, so uh, it's a good chance of it being recovered successfully. I will click on Recover, and I'll select a place to recover it to. So I'll go ahead and put it in my Documents, put it in this locker room folder right here. I'll click on Yes. If you do do it in the same directory that it was deleted in, it'll obviously uh, increase the chance of a more successful recovery. I'll go into my Documents, into that locker room folder. And you can see right here, we have uh, the image. Just as high quality as before. It's a uh, small image, I'm not even sure what that is. But as you can see, uh, Recover is fully functional. I've used it multiple times, as I've said. And that is pretty much it, guys. So, this has been Matthew Sabia for LockerGnome.com, YouTube.com slash LockerGnome, LockerGnome.net. And of course, how could I forget our live video feed? There's always something going on over there. Apparently tonight we're watching Surfing Dolphins. And of course, that is at our live video feed at live.perillo.com. I'll see you later.